Hi, this is Amit from Digital Inspiration and today's episode I'll talk about moving your blog from Blogger to WordPress. Now Blogger and WordPress are the two most popular blogging platforms around and most people generally start their blog on Blogger because it's very simple but once the blog gets popular they try to move to WordPress because WordPress offers more customization options plus there's a whole ecosystem of uh, themes and plugins that uh, developers have created around WordPress. Now WordPress offers a very simple one click option for importing all your blogger blog posts from blogger into your uh, WordPress blog but there's a problem. A lot of old sites could be linking to your content on blogger. Similarly you could be getting traffic on your blogger blog from bookmarks or uh, even from search engines right. The other problem is that a lot of people could be subscribed to your old RSS feed in Blogger whereas you want these people to migrate to your new RSS feed in WordPress. So in today's tutorial I'll show you a very simple method that will help you migrate all your stuff from Blogger into your WordPress site and also retaining your Google juice as well as search engine traffic. And this whole thing will just take like less than 5 minutes to set up. So let's get started. So here's my blogger blog now this is just a regular blog with a couple of blog posts some images and comments. Now I want to move this blog to my new WordPress site. Now I've already installed WordPress on my new server uh, it's using the default theme and it has just one sample post. Now what I want to do is move all that stuff from blogger into this new WordPress site. So I'll switch to my WordPress admin dashboard and under tools I'll choose import. Now here you have an option to import stuff from different blogging platforms but for this example we'll choose blogger. Importing uh, blogger content into WordPress is just a one click process so you would press the authorize button and uh, allow WordPress to access your Google account because your blogger account is under a Google account. Now once you authorize access it will show you a list of all the blogger blogs that are connected to your Google account. You pick the one that you want to import into WordPress and within a minute or two depending on the size of your blogger blog all the posts and comments will be imported into WordPress. Once the posts have been migrated from blogger into WordPress you need to assign a WordPress user that will be the new author for these posts. Now you can pick the author from the drop down and choose the save changes button. Okay, so all our posts have been migrated and um, let's see how they look like on the main site. So I'll switch to the main WordPress site that will be visible to users. I'll refresh this page. And there you have all the new posts that have been imported from Blogger into WordPress. I'll now switch to the Blogger dashboard and choose the template option. This is using the default blogger templates but what we'll do is we'll switch to the classic templates. Now basically we need to add redirection capabilities to our templates so that if people visit our old blogger blog post they are automatically redirected to the corresponding post on WordPress. Now you can find the template code in the show notes but before you use this code you need to make one little change. Just replace all occurrences of labnol.org with your actual domain name where your WordPress site is hosted. Now that you have replaced labnol.org with your actual domain name just copy paste the whole thing and paste it into the blogger template editor and save your template. Now we'll switch to the admin dashboard of WordPress again and choose the theme editor. Now all themes have a functions.php file if this file is not available in your theme you can always create it through cPanel. So I'll open the functions.php file and uh, I just need to add a little snippet of code to this file. You can again find this snippet in the show notes. So I'll copy this entire code and paste it at the bottom of the functions.php file. I'll then click the update file button to save my changes. We are almost done now. Okay, let's now test our changes. So here I'm on the old blogger blog and I'll open a blog post. Now ideally this should open in WordPress and as you can see it automatically redirected you to the corresponding post in WordPress so it, it's kind of working. But uh, we need to make one little change here. I also want to transfer my existing RSS subscribers to the new WordPress feed. So I go to my blogger dashboard and under settings I choose posts and comments. Now here you have an option that says post feed redirect URL. 
all you have to do is add your WordPress feed here and save your settings. Now what happens is when somebody accesses your old blogger RSS feed, they are automatically redirected to your new WordPress feed. So that's it. Thanks.